Understanding constraints. We can use two different types of constraints, a geometric constraint and a dimensional constraint. A geometric constraint applies restrictions to either the size or the location uh, of the geometry, where dimensional constraints control by numbers the size or location of the geometry. And what we have, for example, here is so we have two circles and they have an equal geometric constraint between the two and if I were to go in and, and click on one and I'm going to say I'm going to change the diameter to say 2 notice both of them change so I changed one and the other changes so I come in here and I click in here and I change it to 1.5 1.5 and they both change in size. So um, we use parametric constraints, in this case a geometric constraint, to change one and both holes, drill holes, changed. We could also, uh, we have what's called under constrained, fully constrained, and over constrained. In this example here, I'm under constrained. In other words, I dictated the size of the positive mass, the big piece of the of the part. The negative mass is the whole. I only have one dimension, so I know the length and width of the of the positive mass, so it it can't get any bigger or smaller. But I show the location of the center of the hole in one direction but I don't show it in the direction in the other. So this hole's able to go left or right. So it's under constrained. When I look at it that's fully constrained, you can see that I have the mat positive mass 30 and 60. It's not going to get any bigger or smaller. I do show the location of the hole. It's going to it's tied down to 12 to the center but left and right it's tied to 35 so it's fully constrained when I look at over constrained I have the outside of the positive mass constrained I have it constrained in this direction I have the center of the hole constrained left and right I have the center of the hole constrained up and down however I added another dimension this dimension causes it to be over constrained or too many dimensions if you will uh, or too many constraints not really a dimension so this is turned into what's known as a reference dimension it's for reference only it's not really controlling the size it's just telling you that's what the value is left over okay this is the one that is controlling the size of the part so this is considered uh, over constrained. So we have the three levels of, of constraints which is under constrained, fully constrained, and over constrained. And the whole goal for us in using constraints is to allow us to take general drafting practices and use these parametric techniques to provide a more accurate and more efficient drawing.